Our coverage continues this morning on the death of a 16-year-old high school student, Wes Leonard. He collapsed on the court after hitting the winning shot for his team, then later died at the hospital. It is a story that has rocked a West Michigan town and shocked anyone who hears it. And we are bringing you full coverage this morning. This is video from last night's game, just before he collapsed on the floor and then later died. We are covering this story from every angle this morning, from Grand Rapids to Finville High School. That's where Dean Morrison joins us now live with more. Well, in the last few minutes, the last 15, 20 minutes, we've had some staff coming in to the uh, school's complex here in the last little bit, and the principal as well, we spoke with her on the telephone, they're just broken up. All of the people that we've talked to today, including uh, someone here who works security, was telling us this is just, he was the perfect kid, just a, a perfect kid. They're having a very difficult time already. They're meeting right now uh, in the administration area with crisis counselors and special teams that are coming in, preparing the staff and the teams for dealing with students that will be arriving in about an hour here for school today. We do know that the medical examiner is going to be doing an autopsy today, trying to find out exactly what happened and why this high school junior died last night. We did learn that he apparently had the flu in the last week, but we don't know if that had anything to do with what happened happened last night. Wes Leonard was a star here at the school. He was a star on the basketball court and the football field. In last night's game with the, uh, Bridgman, it was a very close game. It went into overtime. Leonard ended up hitting the game-winning layup. He lifted his team to an undefeated 20-0 season. Then he collapsed on the court after the game. Emergency crews performed CPR on him as he arrived at Holland Hospital. He died about an hour later. We're told they could just not get his heart started. We talked to the middle school principal, Jody Martin, who told us, quote, you can imagine what a shock this is to the community. He was a kind young man, an all-American kid everybody liked. He was an outstanding athlete who also strove academically. He had aspirations to go to college. Now, last night's game was actually supposed to be played a couple of weeks ago, but it was postponed because of the blizzard and rescheduled for last night. In fact, Leonard's mother also works for the school district as a drama director. She had a play scheduled last night, uh, and they wound up canceling that play so she could be there and attend her son's big game. So she was there last night for his last game. We understand that uh, at 8 o'clock this morning, the school representative will be making a statement. We'll be here, and we'll bring that to you a little bit later this morning. Right now, live in Fenville, I'm Dee Morrison, 24-Hour News 8.